Okay, so what I want to show now is this direct drive mount that we've been working on. That's this motor part here. This is the telescope camera. Um, this is only one axis set up on this plywood base, which is just uh, for demonstration and testing purposes to tune the motor. So this drive doesn't have any gears. It's just a motor. And in the motor, there's a normal motor parts, winding, stator, rotor. There is a very precision encoder. This part here is a 26-bit absolute Renishaw encoder. Optical read head right in here. There's a digital output, which goes to a control box back here. And that's being controlled with a can open protocol through this laptop here. And right now it's guided. Right now it's running at sidereal rate. And one of the cool things about this approach is that even if it's upset, if you apply an upset, it comes back. It automatically returns. That wasn't because there was a spring or anything. That's because it's geared, it's driven by the computer to the correct position. And in this case, position and speed. So right now it's running at sidereal rate, and it can automatically compensate for any upsets caused by wind gusts or something like that. So that's a pretty cool feature. Okay, so this is showing precision guiding where we've got here. I've got it set up to run with a command, a speed command, uh, which happens to be sidereal mode. So this is showing, basically looking at the encoder position every 60 milliseconds, taking, uh, looking at, collecting that data and every second looking at a position based on a precision time stamp from the laptop of where the encoder should be versus where it's reported, gives us a speed. This gives us a cumulative tracking error, error in arc seconds. So right now it's, it's behind by 0.14 arc seconds. Um, and that's basically a cumulative error. So since I pushed this precision guide button, that's my accumulated tracking error. Okay, this is my current, and these are, this is just raw data. That's raw position. And you can see that just in open, in velocity mode, open loop from the laptop with no real, true real-time control on the laptop except for using the Windows timestamp feature, it gets very high accuracy because the servo loop is being cl closed by the computer as part of the drive system. Okay, and you can see also that if I upset, so there I've upset the mount, I pushed on it, and it had a big upset, but you can see it's coming back. It comes back to the correct tracking position. So it comes back into guiding, it comes back to right at the spot. This is the target position error with tracking. Okay, so it recovered and got right back on target. Okay, so now I'll just do a little bit of mount slewing just for fun. Just by changing the velocity command. There you go. It's not tuned, it's not really, it accelerates a little bit of back and forth, it's not really tuned yet. Go the other way. See, we're still drawing you know, maybe a tenth of an amp, we go up to maybe half an amp. And again, it'll still, it'll still compensate if I push on it. It'll, it'll come back to where it's supposed to be, as, even as it's slowing. So it keeps track of where it's supposed to be, it compensates, and gets you right back to where it's supposed to be. Go a little faster. Yeah, so it can go right, it can move along pretty fast. It can go way faster, but it's probably not safe. Okay, and then again for a little walkthrough, there's my laptop. That's a 10 inch Smith Cassegrain. Uh, Santa Barbara camera with a QHY guider. This is just my test mule. This is a wood platform, and then here's the drive. Electronics all sit in here, right in there. 
that's just one axis of drive electronics. Got to tidy that up. So, not too complicated, just a motor and encoder and uh, some really good quality machining.